Anyways, it's just a neat effect. And bring it up to 100. Now you'll see if we hit play, wherever my preview, we hit play, you'll notice it just fills up. Very, very basic. Okay, that was a super cool effect. And what that is, is a, um, it's a shape layer. And, um, you know, you can go into Illustrator and type and make it into a vector. You know, you can break it apart. And I thought, well, certainly you can do that with, um, if you can bring it in as a path, it'll be fine. You can do that, but you can't, there's a trick to it. Um, let me just back up here so you can watch some of this. Like that, and five pixels uh, is probably good for, and let's start making some pretty cool stuff. So go ahead and create a new shape layer. So you just right click on your composition and then create shape layer. Okay, so this is a shape layer and your options are different by layer type. So it's important that you're working with a shape layer. Then go up to your shapes and select the ellipse tool and click anywhere on the preview and hold down shift to create a perfect circle. And said, you know, so uh, I know I'm very weird. Okay, so so we want to so we want to make sure this is a transparent fill. So to do that, select the fill text and then select the white uh, rectangle with the red line through it to make it transparent and we're going to add a stroke so we're going to select that and five pixels uh, is probably good for this and you can see this is the green i'm using it's a little nicer it's not as dull than what you saw at the beginning so we want to name this to circle dash and then where it says dash you want to add one and then set the dash to 25. okay so now you've got a shape layer with a path on there essentially is what he's he's drawn out and w keep watching because see this little add um, option here that only come that comes because you're on the shape layer if you're using a text layer you don't have that option so I wanted to do this with text and so I had to figure out how to get it in a text layer format just keep watching once you've done that, go to add and then select trim path. So it's the trim path options because this is a path and you have to have in text, if you're using text tool, it's not a path. path. So go ahead and bring the end percentage to zero and then click the stopwatch to add a key. And what they're talking about with starting in is not the time, but it's actually the, the start and end of the path. So at the end of the path, he starts out with the end of the path at zero, and then he'll change it so that the end of the path goes up to 100%. It's, he's talking about the end of the path. Keyframe, go to 20 frames and bring it up to 100. Now you'll see if we hit play, wherever my preview, we hit play, you'll notice it just fills up. For Love this effect and really wanted to learn how to do it on uh, text. I like this font, so we're going to use this one. Left selection tool, Alt, Shift, and drag. Okay, I do not want to fill, and I, I do want to stroke. I'll this number 86, hit save, and then I'm going to close out this file and open bridge. To get this into After Effects, um, let me do my new composition here. Okay, so I've got a new composition. Going into bridge, grabbing that image and throwing it up here. Okay, so now I've got my Adobe Illustrator uh, drawing and I'm putting it down here. Okay, now it is not a shape layer yet. Let me tell you where I learned how to do this. Um, okay, and you put in this vector graphics after effects, converting imported vector graphics from Illustrator to shape, which is what we want to do. If you watch this video here, he goes into it, and I just like the first few minutes of it. In previous versions of After Effects, converting vector graphics from an Illustrator file to After Effects shape layers was a very tedious process, requiring much manual copying and pasting of paths. In After Effects CS6, this process is automatic. Let's see how it's done.
start in the importing project and go to file import file and choose aquologo.ai from the footage folder click OK let's create a new composition based on this item by dragging it down to the new composition icon right click or control click on Mac OS and choose create shapes from vector layer and then um, okay so now I've got my path I mean I mean I've got my uh, illustrator you just right click it like he did and you go to create shapes from vector layer okay so now it's a shape path and this turns off and now if I turn this down I have this option here and it's the trim path option I'm looking for and I also have the ability to make this bigger you've got your outline you're hitting this you're selecting you're hitting your add um, button here you're selecting uh, trim paths from the contextual menu and then you have to go in here and tell it what to do and think of the start and end as the start and end of the path so he's focused on the end path and he's going to start the end path at 0% so it's not visible and then he goes out like 20 seconds and I'm going to do this further because um, I want it to have a little bit longer thing time and then you're going to bring it up to 100 and then you take your um, you hit alt in your um, bracket and it'll trim out your line for you and then I just uh, moved this down some so it wasn't so long why it did that Anyways, it's just a neat effect. 